Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. You know that awkward moment where you forget to capture your mic input in OBS? Well, that was yesterday. So here we are, a day late and a dollar short, to talk about gain reduction metering in Reaper 7. Several other digital audio workstations have historically shown gain reduction metering in the mixer. That feature's been added in Reaper 7, and I, for one, am happy to see it included. I can't remember all the funny stuff that I said in the intro yesterday but didn't capture, so we'll skip the fluff and get straight to it. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is my cover of a song made in the mid to late 90s by an obscure grunge band from Seattle. Let's take a listen to a section and see how the mix is coming along. That's sounding pretty good, but it seems like the drums could use a little something extra. Let's add some compression. I'll go to my drums bus, click an available slot, and let's add rea comp. I'll pull the dialog a bit closer to the mixer so you can see this in action. And if you're not familiar with rea comp, it has controls that should be familiar with anyone who's ever used a compressor. We've got pre comp, attack and release, ratio, knee size, and we've also got high and low pass filters and sample size. The red meter to the right shows gain reduction, and of course we've got our output meter and wet dry controls. I'll also need to adjust the threshold to help better control how the compressor reacts. Now what I'd like you to pay attention to as I adjust these controls is the meter on my drums bus. I'll go ahead and set up a few parameters here on the compressor, and I'll play back that same piece of music while adjusting the threshold. If you've got a keen eye, you should have noticed a small yellow line going down vertically on the meter. That yellow line corresponds with the gain reduction as reported by Reacomp. I'll set a much longer release time and drop my threshold even further so you can pay more attention to that yellow line. I'll also solo the drums bus so we can hear what the compressor is doing. For this demonstration, I'm not necessarily looking to make the drums sound good, but I simply want to show the gain reduction as reported in the mixer. That small amount of compression to my ear actually sounds pretty good, so I think I'll leave it. What I like about being able to see the gain reduction metering in the mixer is if I embed any of my compressor controls in either the mix control panel or the track control panel, I can make adjustments and quickly see what the compressor is doing without having to have the plugin open. For example, here in Reacomp, if I click on the parameter button and go to show in track controls and threshold, I'll close out of Reacomp, and we can see I have a threshold control here in my track control panel. Let's take our threshold control all the way up so the compressor is not responding the same, and I'll play back the music and begin to adjust here, and we'll be able to see the gain reduction reported back in the mixer. That's a bit much, let's go back up. And that's pretty convenient, especially if you have your controls exposed in the mixer instead of the track control panel. It's great that this works with the stock Reaper compressors, but what about other compressors? If you're like me, you use the stock Reaper plugins, but you've also got a handful of third-party tools that you like as well. Fortunately, Reaper 7 also supports gain reduction metering for third-party plugins with one caveat. The plugin has to report its gain reduction back to the DAW, and I'm finding that some of my favorite plugins, particularly those from IK Multimedia, do not report their gain reduction metering back to the host. I have found a few other plugins that I own that do support this feature, so let's take a look. Since everyone loved my singing so much in the fixed item lanes and swipe comping video, let's unmute the vocals and do some compression. My vocal bus already contains a channel strip, I'm using PSP and Finistrip, and it's doing a good job, but I found that this plugin also does not report the gain reduction back to the host. So let's close this, and let's add Brainworks Townhouse. Townhouse is an SSL-style bus compressor from Plugin Alliance and Brainworks. 
I'll bring this down a bit closer to the mixer so we can see the controls adjustment as well as how it reports back in Reaper. I'll play back that same piece of music and make some adjustments to the controller and let's see what happens. I'll need to unsolo my drums bus and let's take a listen. Stop this up. You may have noticed that we do have some gain reduction going on inside the plugin, but nothing was reported back in the mixer. And I'll show you why. I'll right click the meters, go to meters, and at the bottom of the dialog, display gain reduction for plugins that support it. That's disabled. My Reaper 7 installation was not a clean install, it was upgraded from Reaper 6. I have to admit I've manufactured this situation just to demonstrate that this feature can be turned on and off at will. So you can have gain reduction on tracks if you'd like, and you can disable it on tracks that you don't want it on. I'll go ahead and turn it on for this track, but I'd also like to show you how to turn it on by default in case it's not automatically selected in Reaper 7. We'll go to Options, Preferences, and under Track Send Defaults, take a look at Track Meter Display and click the dialog to the right. You can set your peaks metering to whatever your preference is, and at the bottom, place a check mark on Display Gain Reduction for plugins that support it, and all future tracks that are created will automatically have this turned on. Now that we've got this enabled, Let's go back and see what the gain reduction ring looks like on our vocals bus. Now it seems to be working as advertised. It's a small thing, but I'm quite enjoying gain reduction metering in Reaper. It's nice to be able to look across the mixer and quickly see how gain reduction is working on each of my tracks and buses. Is this something that's going to be helpful for you in your mixing? Drop a comment below. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the buy me a coffee. I could go for a bit of coffee right now. Patreon or Super Thanks links below. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time.